Welcome back guys to another tool training video here. Today we're going to go into the Milwaukee M18 Fuel Sawzall and the Milwaukee M18 Hacksaw. My name is Joel, I'm an electrician here at Powertech. My name is Chris, I'm a baby electrician here at Powertech. And we're going to just walk through the features of both of these saws and the times that you might use them on a site. So first to start off with, we're going to go over some of the PPE and safety protocols that you're going to want to follow while using these tools. First off, you're going to always want, when you're using a cutting tool, you're going to be making dust, you're going to be making small slivers and debris depending on what you're cutting, but you're always going to want to have eye protection. Now often that is going to be your safety glasses that you wear most of the time when you're working, but sometimes if you're, cu if you're cutting something exceptionally dusty or small fine particles, you might want to even make an upgrade to a goggle that actually fits tighter to your face and does not allow any of that dust or debris to get into your eyes. Another thing you might want to consider is protecting your hands. Depending on what you're doing, what you're cutting, a lot of these blades are sharp and uh, some of the metal that you cut might actually have sharp edges. So you might want to consider protecting your hands with gloves, depending on your situation. If you are making a lot of dust, you might want proper ventilation or a fan. You're going to always want to wear your hard hat and steel toe boots when you're on your job sites. This thing is heavy. If it gets dropped or anything that you cut off gets dropped off, you're going to protect your toes. Now I'll start with this actual tool. This is my Sawzall and it's uh, very durable, very heavy duty. It's got some really nice you know, rubber casing. It runs off an M18 red lithium battery here. It has a lock off button, so you won't be able to, it's like a safety, you won't be able to squeeze it when you have this lock engaged. You know, you're just going to press it and then you can actually engage it. It has a handy hook for hanging on your ladder, for hanging somewhere so you don't have to set it on the floor when you're not using it. It's, uh, I find it pretty powerful actually, but the power can be adjusted by this trigger. So. It's a variable speed trigger. So if you don't, if you want to be careful when you're cutting, when you're starting a cut, when you're starting a groove, then you can either just hold it on the slope and work through it. If you, need, if you need that speed though, go ahead and once you've started your lined up your cut, it will go, okay? So this has another couple features, including this light. As you can see, it has a very nice bright LED light on the front to illuminate your working, your cutting area. It has this shoe here, which is adjustable from on the bottom. And this shoe will come out, you put in your longer blade, and if you need you know, a little less depth, you have your shoe out here that can be adjusted. And you can come through your cutting just there. Always keep your, your blade guard tight up against your workpiece. Otherwise, you, when the blade moves, you risk jer jerking the whole tool around rather than cutting the workpiece. So you can adjust it between here, the maximum, and you can slide it down somewhere in between, or if you want the minimum depth, if you have a shorter blade. This here on this side, this is the blade release. So you pull it all the way to the top, pull out your blade, and you can select an appropriate blade for the cut you're doing. If you're going for a big blade like this, uh, not very many teeth per inch, that's what you're looking for, the TPI rating. This one is only a few teeth per, per inch, maybe about six or eight. And what material is that one for, Joel? This one here would be for cutting wood or uh, soft material like that. As you can see, these teeth are a little, a little thicker, so they're probably a little more durable. And this one is probably a demo blade for demoing wood with nails in it. And then you can get down to a blade with, with this here. And this is more like a 14, 16 teeth per inch. It's gonna be best used for metal Make sure you choose the right blade for your job, and it's going to make it a lot easier. And if you use the wrong blade for the wrong material, it might jump around and scratch your material or wreck the blade. Moving right along, I've got the M18 Hacksaw here. Um, the main difference here is, is most of the form factor. It has almost all the same functions. Uh, it has the blade release instead is you rotate the individual holder here. Um, this guard does not move in and out unlike the Sawzall, but we do also have, still have a trigger lock, which will prevent you from pulling the trigger, a variable speed trigger, and an M18 battery. Um, 
The main difference between this and the Sawzall is the form factor. The Sawzall you can get two hands on and really and really set yourself with, with your whole body weight to prevent it from shaking around. Um, this guy is really meant more for some tighter spaces. Uh, let's say you're, you're up, in a, up in a tight ceiling space and you've got to cut a pipe and, and run it to, to somewhere else. Uh, you might want to use one of these guys instead. Um, the M18 is, has more power than the M12, uh, but usually for the Hackzall, I actually prefer the M12 simply for the form factor. Because if, if you can get two hands on this, but let's say you're up in a ceiling space, you've got one hand on it, this, it's nicely balanced with the 5 amp hour battery on it, but it still weighs quite a bit. Um, and it, it's much easier, especially if you're only really making one or two cuts with it, uh, to get up right up into that ceiling space or into your tight spot with one hand on the tool uh, with the M12. All right, well, we've enjoyed showing you some of the features of the M18 Milwaukee Fuel Sawzall. And the M18 Milwaukee Fuel Hacksaw. I hope that you can take some of that, what you've learned today and apply it on your job sites. Or maybe if you don't have one of these tools, you'll want to buy one. Have an excellent day. Keep your stick on the ice. I feel safer already, and I hope you do too.